What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we are making beer brats. That's right, beer brats on the Blackstone. So easy to make. The best part is the only pan you need is this. Just a little tin foil pan. That's it. And the Blackstone, of course. And the ingredients, super simple. You got your brats. Obviously, you got your beer. You got some pepper, some onions, some butter, salt, pepper. That's it. So easy to make but so delicious and a lot of fun. Everybody, if you're new to the channel, I wanna thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, I wanna thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. Keep leaving those comments down below and keep hitting those thumbs up. So everybody, let's get cooking. All right, so here we go. Kuma knife, ready to rock and roll link in the description below if you're interested it's an awesome knife we take a big yellow onion and we are going to cut off the tips take off that outer shell a little whack there and give it a little slice not too deep just enough to get that outer shell off and then we're going to cut this bad boy in half just like so and then we're gonna cut it with the grain long ways. We're not making dices here. We want big, long, half onion slices because they're gonna reduce down quite a bit when we're done with them. So there you go. Onions all chopped up or sliced up, I should say. Looks great. And then we have our bell peppers, our green bell peppers. You can use whatever you want or no peppers at all. Here's a little tip here. So you want to slice the edges from the top down, kind of curve them to the outside and then back down in on the bottom. And you can see this is so easy and you do not waste too much of the pepper and you do not have to deal with those nasty seeds that are a pain in the butt. Look at that, throw them away. Here we go. Smooth side down, rough side up. It makes life so much easier. If you try to cut that smooth side, you're going to be fighting an uphill battle. There we go. Just like that. Slice up these peppers. Does not have to be perfect. And there we go. Peppers and onions done. Here's our bratwurst or bratwurst. Uh, just showing you what they look like here. We got from Publix. And then clink. Here's a couple of beers. You can use any beer you like. Uh, I just drink Bud Light every once in a while. So that's what I had on hand. So we have our foil pan on the Blackstone. We have it at about a medium to medium high heat and a couple of tablespoons of butter. We're going to get that nice and melted just like that. Looks beautiful. And we're going to take our onions and peppers and throw them on. This is such a simple dish, but I like it because it takes a little bit of time to cook and I like to hang out outside, maybe smoke a cigar, maybe listen to some music. Just hang out with friends, whatever. To me, that's the fun part. A little bit of salt here. And after the salt, we're going to give it a little bit of pepper. Just like that. Give you a little front view to show kind of how much room we have on this 22-inch Blackstone. With that pan, we still got the other half there. Stir it up. Once that uh, butter starts getting nice and hot and steaming up just a tad, you want to stir it up and uh, get it all nice and coated with that butter. And then that's it. Once you get it nice and hot, you don't want to leave it on there too long. Maybe like a couple minutes. And once you get it nice and hot, you want to add your beer. Uh, this beer probably could have warmed up a little bit more. I had it on room. Or actually, I had it still kind of chilled. Uh, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. It might just take a little bit longer. So I had two beers which is perfect for this pan. Uh, I didn't measure the pan, but I'd say it's probably a 9 by 13 if I had to guess. And then you take your brats and you bury them in there and bathe them. All right. So here's the plan. We're going to get these brats in there. We're going to get that temperature up a little bit. Not too high. We're not going to cover it. We do not want this to go from 0 to 100 really fast. We want it to go from 0 to Eh, 50 let's say nice and slow and that beer is gonna steam up and cook these brats at a nice pace
pace. There you see. You see it boiling there a little bit? That's what you're looking for. You do not want it any hotter than that. You don't want a rolling boil. You want a simmer. Because if you get it too hot, those brats will bust. <laughs> that outer shell that's holding them all in will split, and then you're going to have a mess on your hands. So nice and low and slow. The total time is probably going to be between 12 and 15 minutes. After about 7-8 minutes, I flipped them over because they were not completely buried in the beer. So as you can see, the tops are not getting done, but the bottoms obviously are. And that's it. You just flip them over, bury them in that bath, and then let the other side get nice and nice and drunk. <laughs> so uh, yeah, move the veggies around if you want a little bit. Uh, but that is, see all that steam coming up? That is what you're looking for. All that beer is getting infused into those brats. Now you got your hot dog buns, whatever kind you can get nowadays. Uh, with the coronavirus out right now, it's kind of hard to get bread. This is actually Wonder Bread. And let me tell you, it was great. So whatever kind you want. I like mine toasted, so a little bit of butter on them. Put them on that other half of the Blackstone. And as I've always said, <laughs> this is the best toaster in the world. So a little shot, what it looks like. The brats steaming up over there on the right. The hot dog buns toasting on the left. Looks like a beautiful thing. The smell, by the way, is outstanding with those beer brats. And the peppers and the onions and the whole deal. So really after like a couple minutes, hot dog buns are done. Take them off, they look, oh, look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. So that's it, we add some oil, and now it's time to sear up our brats and our onions and peppers. So we start with the brats. See what they look like. Not too exciting. That's why we see them. We want to give them some presentation. We want our food to taste good, but we want it to look good too. You kind of want both. So that's it. You take them out one by one. You want that left side to be medium to medium high heat. Give it just a nice sizzle. We're not trying to make these things black, but we want to definitely give them some color for some presentation and some crispiness as well so there you go one side is looking okay a little bit of color looks good because remember these are already cooked inside so this is really just to kind of give them a nice little sear on the outside it's almost like a reverse sear like if you would cook a steak and you move it around, you know, the outside's not getting done as quick as the inside. And you'll learn that you'll learn your blackstone as you go. But really, it's just a couple minutes on each side, not even. Uh, they are hard, to, especially the, 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 the top and the bottom are no problem. Once you go left and right, forget it. <laughs> We're going to use the wall here and prop them up against the, the wall, almost like a kickstand. Uh, get up, get, oh, uh, there you go. Uh, there you go. <laughs> you just let them chill there for a minute or two. And look at that, they're getting all the way around, they're getting some nice brownness. Not too crazy, just a little bit of color. So we're going to stick on that same wall. Uh, hang on, let me move this one. There you go, up, oh, up. Oh. This is just me, man. <laughs> I know it's a little crazy. I like to move stuff around. What can I tell you? I want to play that song uh, from Benny Hill. That's what I should have done. Anywho, <laughs> they're almost done. Looking good. And smelling delicious. There you go. There's a little close up. These are some big old brats too, man. They came out really good. You can see the onions and peppers in that beer bath looking just delicious. Here's a little close-up of the brats. 
Nice and done. And that's it. Take them off. And we add our veggies down. Kind of the same thing. Veggies are cooked. But I like them a little bit crispy on the outside. A little bit of color, again, for presentation. Just to make them look good. Give them a little crispiness. A little crunch. And it adds. It really does. If you, if you serve them right out of the bath, they're going to taste just as good as if what you're doing right here. But this gives it just that extra little oomph. So you can see here that little bit of caramelization. That's what you're looking for. Not too crazy. I'm not leaving them on here for too long. You don't want them all soggy. You still want a little bit of crispiness to them. But you can see right here the color is just coming out. That's what you're looking for right there. Not too much, not too little, just right. Hoo-wee! Man, look at these beer brats. Or brats. Beer brats? Beer brats? Depends on what part of the country or world you're from. <laughs> I call them beer brats, but I'm sure they're supposed to be pronounced beer brats because it's bratwurst. Either way, it looks phenomenal. And we are gonna dig into these. But first, we're gonna do a close-up. Here we go. So these are super easy to make. And obviously, I like to bathe them first and then give them a nice little sear, along with the veggies, a nice little sear, a little bit of toast, on the buns and I put a little bit of Dijon mustard on these as well so hey I think it's enough talking let's give it a taste because man I'm hungry oh look at this beautiful brat or brat mmm <laughs> Wow, that is bursting with flavor. The brat is amazing. You could taste that beer flavor in there. The peppers and onions, oh, phenomenal. Absolutely delicious. Guys and gals, give this recipe a shot. It's super easy, super fun to make and tastes and smells delicious. Everybody, thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat, out.